Good morning, my friends, and welcome to the Family Ministry Moment. I'm stuck at home in the snow, just like many of you, and didn't get to make my video in an interesting place today. But I think this Bible story has all the interesting imagery we need. Did you catch the part of the reading about the creatures called seraphs? They sound like something from Star Wars or Lord of the Rings. Isaiah describes them as creatures with six wings, two covering their faces, two covering their feet, and two wings for flying. Those creatures sound weird. I would love to see your drawings of seraphs, so try your best and share your drawings with me. If we can get past the crazy creatures and flaming coal touching Isaiah's lips, today's Bible story is about God calling Isaiah to lead and to speak to the people of Israel. They weren't making good decisions and forgotten God's best ways to live. So God wanted Isaiah to be the one to speak to them. But Isaiah didn't feel like he could. Isaiah is one of the many different people we hear about in the Bible who God called and they didn't think they were good enough. There's been plenty of times in my life where I felt like I wasn't good enough too especially when others asked me to be a leader, when I felt like I wasn't ready for it, or it was with a skill I wasn't confident in. I've been running for almost 10 years now, but I wouldn't say that I'm very good at it. I've never won any races. Most of the time I finish as one of the last people in the race. One time I finished dead last of all the runners in the race. At least I beat the people walking. But I've learned a lot from running and with running in the last several years of training. Last fall, I had a chance to coach Girls on the Run, which is a program for girls from third to sixth grade to learn about running, friendship, and just having fun together. I wasn't sure it would happen because of COVID, and I really didn't know much about the program before I became a coach. I hesitated to sign up to coach, but finally did so right before the deadline. I really didn't know what I was signing up for, but I did it anyway. Even though I'm not a talented runner, I took the opportunity to try out being a coach. It was a lot of work, but it was also so much fun. Some of the girls from our church were on the team, and we learned a lot together. Coaching girls on the run was one of my favorite activities from 2021, and I'm planning to do it again starting later this month. Just like Isaiah and me, God can use things in your life that you might not be good at. God just needs us to be willing to follow when God asks, who can do something? What might God be asking you to do today? Let's pray. God of crazy creatures and crazy invitations, help us to follow you even when we don't think we can. Make us brave enough to say, send me when you ask. Thank you for giving us the chance to share your love wherever we go. Amen. Friends, thank you for joining me for today's family ministry moment. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you again soon. Bye.